Hi guys and welcome to another What Works Wednesday video with me, Paul Greenwood, where I share tips and tools for creators and business owners. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Trello to create a CRM system for your business. From this video, you're going to be able to track the conversations that you have with your customers all the way through the sales process. If this is the first time on my channel, welcome. This is the Hive of Many channel where myself, Paul Greenwood, teaches business owners and creators how to create better design and show you the tools and tips you need to run a small business. Before we start, if you do get anything from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support my channel, please hit subscribe and turn on the notifications. There are other What Works Wednesday videos. I will link them in the card above now. Stay tuned to the end where I will link some other videos that you might find interesting. Okay, so we're going to jump into a screen share now. And from there, you'll be able to follow along and create this CRM system for yourself. So what you can see on screen right now is Trello. Trello is what we're going to be using to create this simple sales process. If you've not registered for Trello before, hit the first link in the description and register for an account. So this is the sales process that we're going to create today. The customer is going to follow a very specific path which I've set out. You've got the option to tailor this to your needs, but this is a really good place to start if you just wanted a simple sales process. So to create a new board in Trello, you can click the plus icon at the top click on create board and all I'm going to do is create sales process click create board you get a blank board something like that you can change your background if you wish I'm just going to change it to a nice mountain scene because that's kind of my thing from here we're going to add all the different sections all the different columns across the top left to right so in the first instance in a sales process you've literally just met the customer. So we're gonna put that in the first column there. We're gonna put new lead, okay? Followed by understanding the client needs. This is when you'll be having a conversation with the client to understand what their needs are basically. It's as simple as that. The next one we're gonna add in there is offer solution or presentation. So let's just imagine that you've already spoken to the client and you understand their needs. You're going to present your solution as a business to this client or this customer at this point. So the next stage is negotiating with your client. There might be a bit of wiggle room with your pricing. There might be something you might want to sort of downgrade or upgrade as part of your services. So this is where the negotiation stage is and where you'd actually close the sale. So I'm going to put the word close sale in here. From there, you can either go two ways. You've either won the sale, so we're gonna put one, one sale, and we're gonna put didn't win. The reason we're doing that is because even if you don't win the sale, you've always got another option to either remarket to your customer or just to pick up the phone, maybe two or three weeks later, or you can remarket to these people further down the line. The next one we're going to put in there is contract sent. And then the last one is contract received. So you've got all the different fields now in the Trello board here. Um, what we need to do next is to start actually adding some of the clients in there. The aim of the game is to get people from point A, which is the far left, all the way through the different sections all the way to the end which is on the right so we'll just add somebody in john smith okay and he works for x company so i'm just going to put x x co okay um, you can add as many of these cards as you like you can have sue jones she works for anything you want that's not his bell jones jones there you go good old grammarly she works for yz co okay so we've got a couple of people now in the board and to edit the person's details within the board all we do is we click on it and it comes up with this description box 
I'd highly recommend in this section just adding some contact details for each person, an email address, a telephone number, so you've always got something you can refer back to. So let's just put uh, John's telephone number. This is obviously not a real number, so don't go ringing it. That'd be just daft. And then John at Xco would be his email address, I imagine. So John at x co.com put that in there and then we press save and now we've got what's the basis of a crm system you can also track the conversations you have with your client in here so if you've offered a certain price let's just say offer price a thousand pounds save that and then you'd know for later on how much you've um offered john smith for x services that you're going to do for john the name of the game then is to just go through the different stages so at this point um you, you're understanding the client's needs and then once you've offered the solution you then drag him into the next one and then once you've had a negotiation stage you then put him into the closed sale because you've either you've closed the sale or you've won it or not so you may have several different cards on the go at one time and this is where it gets interesting because you can track different people at different points in time and you can always remember where people are. So if you've got somebody sat in contract sent and you can't remember if you've received it or not, then you can take necessary action. Do you need to phone this person or send them an email? So that is the basic sales process and all you're trying to get is these people from A to B all the way through right to the end and you obviously want a contract to be signed right at the end. So this is here as a simple tool so you don't get confused about where people are and you don't have to keep all this information in your head. So if you're using a spreadsheet to track all of your sales process, this could be a really handy tool for you to use within your business rather than a really clunky spreadsheet in Excel or in numbers if you're a Mac user. I'd highly recommend maybe transitioning over to Trello and tracking people using this system. Another handy feature, if you have a small team and you wanted to share the art sales process with your small team, you can add their email address in. So you'd be literally just going to invite in people in, so you, and then you make a team. So you click add team. Um, you can create a new team. Just put X team or whatever you want to call your team and choose what type it is, sales CRM and create that team. Um, from there, you can then add people's email address in and press send invitation down at the bottom. If you want to send it to more than one person at one time, click create link and it will create a link for your board. Just simply copy and paste that into an email and send it over the traditional email method. So that is a really simple CRM customer sales process for your business if you got something out of this video today guys please give it a thumbs up and to support my channel please hit subscribe and turn on the notification button i will be bringing you more videos just like this one where i share tips and tools for business owners and creators just like yourself so if you'd like to see more support my channel and i will see you in the next video Bye for now. So if you are particularly going to offer Sue Jones a really special deal, free website and logo, never going to happen, just saying, then you'd close the sale. Of course you'd close the sale because it's a free website and logo, never going to happen. You'd send over the contract, she'd pay a deposit or the amount foot in. Then she'd pay the contract. Then she'd sign the contract and pay the deposit. I'll start a bit again, shall we? Completely lost where these cards were.